Welcome to TOCON. TOCON is a revolutionary new slave control system from Excite that uses intuitive, HUD-based controls to make controlling a slave easy and fun. This video tutorial focuses on the professional owner's HUD and the ability to control a slave remotely. Most of the time, you'll probably want to be near your slave when controlling them, but occasionally, it's useful to be able to access them from afar. The Professional HUD allows you access to your slave from anywhere on the Second Life grid, assuming the slave is online and wearing their Tokon slave HUD. Let's take a look at the HUD. As you can see, I've got a slave targeted. His name appears at the top of my HUD, and the leftmost indicator on the indicator bar tells me he's online. The indicator right next to that one, however, tells me he's remote. This means he's not in the same region as me. In other words, not in the same sim. For that reason, I'm going to find that a lot of the actions and pages on my HUD are disabled. I can't get into the restraints screen, nor can I use positions or animations. Going into the actions screen, I'll find a lot of grayed out buttons here as well. But let's talk about what is available to me. The entire control panel is available except for design since it's kind of important to be viewing the slave's gear when playing with that. This means I can add or remove owners or guests from afar, change who can access the slave, and change all of the permissions. I can ban people, I can alter the text interface, and change the restrain life settings. Moving back to actions, I can't restrain the slave with chains, but I can freeze him in place. I can also zap him. <laughs> I'll find a few actions specifically designed for remote use. The first action here, called Spy, will provide certain information about the slave, such as where he is, what he's doing, and who's near him. I'll click the button here, and let's see where my slave is. Ah, he's on Eventide East. He's walking, and there are several people nearby. I have the ability to pull up the map here and see exactly where he is. So let me do that. He's in the Excite store, probably shopping for a new toy I can use on him. The other people nearby are probably other customers. I wonder where else he's been recently. Well, that's what the track button is for. By pressing that button, I can see the last 10 regions my slave has been to. He's been traveling a lot, it seems. Perhaps I should ask him why. I can, of course, travel quickly to my slave by using the map we just had up with his location, but it's more fun to summon him to me. I am the owner, after all. I'll flip back a page and hit the summon button. If I were near the slave, this would just drag him towards me. But since we're remote, he's now receiving a message that I've summoned him, and it'll bring up a map on his screen of exactly where I am, with the instructions that he is to hit the teleport button. And there he is! Now that he's near me, my HUD will automatically sense this within the next minute and light up all of my actions again. But if I'm impatient, which I never am, I can just retarget him. All that is very cool, but what if I'm not logged into Second Life? Tokon features a web-based control panel that anyone with a professional HUD can use when not logged into Second Life. Again, the slave must be logged into Second Life and wearing their Tokon slave HUD in order for this to work. We're now looking at the Tokon website, which can be accessed from outside of Second Life. I'll provide the name of my slave, my avatar name, and my Excite password. This is not my Second Life password. It is my password I set for the Excite website. I'll wait a few seconds to make sure it connects to my slave. Now my control panel is active. These buttons should look familiar. I've got the ability to change owners and access permissions. I can also use the spy and track abilities, which provide the exact same information we just saw in the HUD in Second Life. I can also zap him, freeze him, and turn Chastity on and off. You'll notice a new button here called Chat. The Chat button is rather neat. I'm going to type in a short message here, asking my slave what he's wearing. Let's take a look at the slave screen within Second Life. Notice that my message appears in the blue dialog. He has the option to respond. He's responding now, so let's head back to the website. There's his response, and apparently he's a liar, because we just saw him and know he's not naked. He's a bad boy. 
But as you can see, the web control panel provides a way to directly chat with my slave from outside of Second Life when I'm stuck at work or on a trip. Remote access, web access, chat and messages. Just some of the ways Tokon is pushing the innovation of BDSM play in Second Life to a whole new level. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Be sure to catch the other tutorials to learn more about the Tokon system.